Did you know we can return multiple pieces of data in one return statement? Today, I'm going to quickly show off how you can do this using Unreal Engine and C++, and I'm gonna use an example that you can easily modify to fit your own projects. To do this, we are going to use STD tuple, and the way this works is we're basically going to declare a list of things that we want to return or expect within this tuple, and then we're going to be able to assign variables and other data and pass this tuple around. So in our header file, I've created a tuple that is going to expect both an actor pointer and an F vector. And I've called this method the get player and location method. Now in the C++ file, this is a simple function that is simply going to get the player using gameplay statics. And then it's going to return both the player and the player's location. Notice how the return statement is formatted here. Anything that I want to return, I'm returning as a list by putting it inside these curly brackets. And each item is separated by a comma, but it's actually using this tuple that makes it powerful. Inside of begin play here, I have quickly set up this line of code here that uses our get player and location method. And you can see here that I've created two variables, variable one and variable two. They are going to automatically become whatever is returned to them by our player and location method. So after this line of code runs, variable one is going to be that actor pointer and variable two is going to be an F vector. And then to prove that, I've got this log here that is going to print the name of the actor. And then I'm also going to print the vector. So to show you what this looks like when I hit play, we go into our console log on the bottom here and we can see here is our log. We can see the actor name is the third person character and our actor location is printed. And that is the absolute basics on how you could use the SDD tuple to return multiple values inside of C++. I've been using this to make my code a little bit cleaner inside of my own projects and I hope this helps you do the same.